In this video, we are going to learn about insects. Insects are fascinating. Some are beautiful. Some can be a little gross. But one thing's for sure, they are not boring. Welcome to the exciting world of insects. To begin, insects are the largest animal group on Earth. Did you know that? There is no animal group in the world larger than insects. In fact, about 85% of the whole animal kingdom is made up of insects. That means the majority of animals in the world are insects. And they are everywhere. When you visit the park, a field, or even your own backyard, there are hundreds of thousands of insects all around you, underground, on the grass, flying in the air. They are everywhere. Some insects even swim. They can even get indoors too. Have you ever seen an insect in your house before or in a building? Yeah, they find a way to get in. There are so many different types of insects. Some are beautiful like this butterfly. Others are well, less beautiful, like this stag beetle. <laughs> wow, wish this stag beetle wasn't right next to my face. Okay, butterfly, you can stay. But despite their differences, there are things all insects have in common. Here are some of the things all insects have in common. First, they are gross. Second, they're disgusting. And third, their babies smell bad. <laughs> okay. Hey, no, uh, that was a joke, okay? We're kidding. We love insects. We wouldn't be making this video if we didn't love you guys, okay? That's just a joke, okay? We're going to say nice things about you. We love insects, and there are wonderful things that all insects have in common. We're just joking. You're not gross. You're not disgusting. You know, your babies don't smell bad. It's okay. It's okay, all right? We'll be nice. We'll be nice. Okay. Here is the real list of things all insects have in common. No jokes. These are, these are the real things, okay? Things all insects have in common. First of all, they are small. Now, different insects are different sizes, but compared to other animal groups, insects are small. Their small sizes allow them to have special jobs other animal groups can't have. It's good that insects are small. Another thing insects have in common is that they all have six legs. All insects have six legs. Did you know that already? That's one of the reasons a spider is not an insect. A spider has eight legs. Spiders are arachnids, not insects. Remember, all insects have six legs. The next thing all insects have in common is that they move quickly in their environment. Whether they live on land, in the water, or fly in the air, every insect has the ability to be fast with their legs and often their wings, helping them get to where they need to go in a short amount of time. A great example of this is the grasshopper. Grasshoppers can jump fast and far and can be hard to catch. But it's not just grasshoppers. All insects have the ability to move quickly. Insects not only move quickly in their environment, they also can't think. <laughs> no, we're not being mean. Literally, the brains of insects are very simple. Insects don't have thoughts like we do. They have no imaginations or dreams. Their simple brains have programmed responses to situations they face. That means if a mosquito bites you, remember, the mosquito isn't mad at you. The mosquito didn't think, hey, I want to get that person. Insects can't think. The mosquito knew it needed food and it flew to you to get it. This is why insects are so predictable. Their brains already have programmed responses to everything that happens to them. 
We hope you are having a lot of fun. Now we are going to look at several different types of insects and learn even more facts about these fascinating creatures. Are you ready? No, really. Are you ready? Okay. First, let's look at beetles. Here is a ladybug, one of the most popular types of beetles. While a lot of people don't like your average beetle, it is hard to find someone who doesn't like ladybugs, right? Ladybugs, like other beetles, have front wings that form a hard case that almost looks like a shell. Ladybugs might look innocent, but they can be insect-eating machines. A single ladybug can eat as many as 5,000 other insects in its lifetime. Wow! Here is another beetle called the stag beetle. The stag beetle has these huge jaws and is a beetle that sometimes wrestles other stag beetles. Doesn't it look like a wrestler? The stag beetle is not as sweet looking as the ladybug, is it? Next, we are going to look at the fly. You know the old verse, shoe fly don't bother me? Flies can be very annoying insects. They do have important jobs like pollinating flowers and recycling animal poop. Yeah, <laughs> you heard that right. If it weren't for flies, the world would be a much smellier place. It's true. They might be annoying, but they are important. Now, this is interesting. Wasps, ants, and bees are all part of the same group of insects. If you look at their bodies, they are very similar in a lot of ways, but they're also very different. Unlike bees, wasps can come in just about any color. Wasps are very helpful to farmers because they control pests. Without wasps, much of our food supply would be ruined by other insects. If you see a wasp, make sure you give it space. Wasps are not afraid to sting, especially if they feel threatened, but if you leave them alone, they won't bother you. They are hunters, but they don't like hunting humans. Next, we have ants. They are known for those hills they build, and yes, there are ants in each colony that have wings. Not all ants have wings, but some of them do. The ants who have wings have a special job, to leave the colony to set up a new one. Ants have terrible eyesight, but they have an amazing sense of smell. That is how they find food so easily. Ants are pretty cool. Finally, we have bees. They are known for making honey, which makes our lives really sweet. They make it for themselves to get through the winter. Not all bees make honey, though. Bees like the bumblebee don't make honey, but they do pollinate flowers. They are so helpful. Like wasps, bees need to be left alone to do their job. If they feel threatened, some types of bees might sting you. There are so many other types of insects, we're not able to talk about all of them. Remember, 85% of the entire animal kingdom is made up of insects. For now, let's review some of the things all insects have in common. Here they are, some of the things all insects have in common. They are small, they all have six legs, they move quickly in their environment, and they can't think. Literally, their brains are very simple, they have programmed responses to different things that happen. They don't think, they don't dream. These are some of the things that all insects have in common. the world of insects. If you were to go outside, how many insects do you think you would find? They are all around you, working hard and making this world a better place. Whether it is a butterfly or a wasp or a beetle or an ant, there are thousands of insects all around us. We hope you enjoyed learning about them and we will see you next time.